Hey everyone, I'm here with another video and this is going to be a review. Naturallycurly.com sent a few products for me to uh, try out and to give you guys my review on. So although they were sent for me to review, please don't be mistaken, all of the opinions I state in this video are wholly my own. So there are four products. The first one is um, the Sammy Fat Curls Defy the Frizz Curl Creating Mousse. This is seven ounces. The next one is the Curl Defining Gel. This is six ounces. The next one is the Curl Reactivating Spray, and this is six ounces as well. And lastly, there's the Curl Enhancing Cream, and this one is five ounces. So um, I've not seen any of these products in any drugstore or Target or Walmart or anything, but I did find them online. I know that um, they're around $7.99. I think they're all $7.99 on Amazon.com. So I'll start with uh, the products that um, I don't like and then I'll tell you guys which product I do like because there was one of them that I did kind of like. So I'll start with the Curl Enhancing Cream. It's this one here. Um, the first thing though I want to say before that though is that with the Curl Defining Cream and the Curl Mousse, they did not work well at all, at all, at all with my leave-in conditioners. Um, when I say my leave-in conditioners, I use uh, the Kinky Curly Not Today, Giovanni Direct Leave-In, and um, Hair Rules Leave-In Conditioner as well. And it just would not distribute well at all with those products so I had to dilute um, them in like a spray bottle and like spray them onto my hair first before I apply these products so that's one thing I want to point out first because I will forget to, uh, to point that out to you guys later so okay with the curl enhancing cream initially it went on well it uh, did distribute well of course after I used the diluted leave-in conditioner and there was some curl definition that I could see Unfortunately, whether I let it air dry or if I diffused it, the curl definition, it wouldn't stay. It just would not stick. So I opted to use the, the gel that came with the line. And though it did kind of capture the, the curls, my hair, when it dried, it felt like wax. Very, very waxy, if you guys understand what I mean. Um, I did see that white residue began to form around the edges and then on my, um, on my scalp. But like even when it was still wet, I could see the white forming around here. And then of course, when it did dry, it was just um, it, it was like a very like a white misty like layer over my scalp. It's kind of weird to describe. As far as shrinkage goes, I preferred the way that my hair looked um, when I let it air dry as opposed to uh, when I diffused it. But even in that, it was kind of like picking between uh, two evils. So uh, my hair is curlier on this side than it is on this side where the curls are less uh, tight, it's more wavy. And what would happen is when I would let it air dry, it would kind of be curly over here because again, the curl definition isn't the best. So on the curly side, it would kind of be curly in some places, not so much in other places then over here it would like dry kind of stringy and hanging down and then it would just be really frizzy on top but at least um, in that case the curls were my hair was more just uh, elongated it hung down a little bit more and I it was more flexible so at least I could kind of catch my hair up in a um, on like in a pile on top of my hair so like if I was going to uh, do errands go out to the gym or anything like that I could kind of make it look okay if I put my hair up like that however uh, when I diffused it there was more curl definition if there was any curl definition uh, to be had but I could not get it to um, get my curls to stretch so normally um, I might you know try to take the blow dryer and pull my hair uh, away from my scalp and you know pull the curls away I couldn't do that because it dried like so um, brittle and so waxy feeling that I was afraid of any breakage that might happen but then in that case the definition was was a little bit more so it's kind of like picking between the two but um, either of the results weren't the best I tried to uh, salvage my hair I tried to do like the twist overnight kind of thing see if I could save it for um, another day so that I wouldn't have to wash my hair out um, at the end of each day that I uh, tried this product and um, that was a no-go when I untwisted my hair um, I felt that it was really stiff it was like stuck together like I had some sort of hair glue or something in and it was just unmanageable I never figured out how to use this product um, on my hair and I just simply think that it just isn't 
um, it just isn't a product to be that my hair could work with. The next product is the Curl Creating Mousse. So immediately I could see that there was, um, that my hair was shrinking like all the way up just as I was putting it on. It went on fairly easy, but after I would like put it on this section here, when by the time I would get here, I could see it kind of like um, moving up. So there was no question about it. I needed to put something on my hair to kind of get it to lay down. So I used the, um, the, the gel that came with the line as well with this product. So I could see that uh, drying it with a diffuser was just um, it was not going to happen or else my hair was going to end up being really really dry so um, I only let it air dry so this I regarded as a strictly wash and go product this product was quite drying this is not something I would recommend for everyday use and I feel like part of it is because I couldn't make it work with any like moisturizing lotion or leave-in conditioner under it so I feel like my hair didn't have a good base or primer or anything before I apply this product to it. However, I don't want to say that um, I didn't dislike this product. Actually, I didn't dislike this product, believe it or not. So uh, the curl definition, it stayed for days. When I tell you that I went to uh, the gym class, oftentimes when I go to gym class, my hair looks fine. So if I go for Zumba, if I go for like cardio kickbox, or if I just go on elliptical, my hair will kind of look okay going into the gym. And then by the time I leave, I've kind of sweated out. It's melted. I look like someone steamed like a stalk of broccoli, kind of. You guys understand what I mean by when I say that. So so um, the curl definition stayed well through all of that so I kind of like something that will keep the curl definition no it may not um, moisturize my hair it may not like provide intense nourishment but if it makes it look presentable I can work with that it rained it, it was very humid this week and the curl stayed uh, very very well uh, throughout the week with this product um, I was able to uh, salvage it uh, from day to day so I was able to twist it up um, yeah it's not like the most nourishing product around but I, I didn't dislike it it really did impress me with how long it stayed using it with the gel let me warn you that it's kind of like when I discovered like that one dollar bottle like I should say one dollar tub of gel like when I was in middle school you know when your hair is like rock solid um, that's what happened with it so I would say that uh, be careful um, with the amount of gel that you use whether you use the gel with this line or any gel with it and let me just add the shine factor of this product was astronomical I didn't have to put anything on my hair. I didn't have to apply any shine spray, any serum, any glossing, um, polish, or anything like that. It stayed shiny throughout from the time I applied it throughout the whole time until I washed it out. With this product it did make uh, like when I found that my scalp um, had dried up I was able to use a uh, stinging nettle tonic that I also on my channel I have it posted a uh, recipe that I have for a stinging nettle um, like tonic that I put on my hair for like when my hair dries up if um, it should be like dry or flaky or anything like that um, I was able to spray that on it and, and keep it moving. Again this is not for everyday constant use but I think that this is a great product when you're just looking for something you're on the go you want uh, to put something in your hair and you know you don't really want your um, you don't want it to like uh, to be unpredictable what your hair is going to look like and you just want some curls in your hair you're going to wrap it up anyway you want to twist it out anyway or something like that um, this might be a product you would use in that instance So the curl defining gel was the product that I did like. Um, I think that my expectations were so low with the enhancing cream and the curl mousse that I was completely shocked that um, this product performed as well as it did. So um, I was able to apply it over um, all of my leave-in conditioners so it was good and moisturized before I applied this product. And um, when I 
went through with the gel, it it's how do I describe it? I would say that the gel is oh, let me make it just show you guys. It's you see, it's um kind of runny, but it's not as thick as say Eco Styler. It's not as runny as we did. It's somewhere in between. It doesn't dry like sticky or anything like that. So I was able to start applying it to my hair, um, to my curls. And when I worked it through, it distributed well. So it really captured and um, kind of stuck on to each curl, which I loved. As far as the shine factor goes, it was um, less shiny than like the using the curl mousse, but definitely much better than the curl enhancing cream. I was able to use just about any product that um, I do use to um, add shine to my hair. So shine sprays, glossing, polish, serums, just straight up oil. It played well with other products. It did not dry heavy, so my hair was light and bouncy. As far as shrinkage goes, it was the least of all of the products that I use. It was the least with this product than all of the products in this line I was able to apply um, like um, a lotion to it if I wanted to or I could just straight up um, with the gel alone I put like barrettes at my um, at the roots and just kind of like put elastic bands on my hair and it was able to stretch the hair out um, I mean I was absolutely shocked that my hair performed as well as it did uh, with this product because um, I didn't expect it given what the way the other products perform on my hair. There was absolutely like no crunch on my hair. Uh, you couldn't hear it, you know, sometimes when you use gel, you can kind of hear it when you um, kind of like mush your hair. And uh, there were no flakes when it dried. And I want to say that my hair dried similar, similar, I don't want to say exactly the same, but similar um, to when I used the Wee Dad Climate Control Gel. So I don't want to give you guys the impression that I'm saying that this is a duplicate for that product, not at all, but it dried similarly to that. So I was uh, the most happy with this uh, product and all the products that they sent. The last product is the Curl Reactivating Spray. And um, it's a, it's just a very, very like light, you see that? It's a, it's a very light spray and it, it didn't really reactivate any curls. It was just like a conditioning spray and not really that conditioning. I applied it um, a couple of times with which e with each of the products. I want to say that um, when I used it with the curl mousse like the day after or like second day after, um, I had applied the, uh, the mousse initially. It was kind of okay to kind of make the hair workable. But other than that, I didn't really see um, much of a difference in my hair when using the reactivating spray. I really have no idea um, what this what this would work with. So if you guys ask me what the front runner of the four products are, um, I don't think you guys would be surprised when I say that I would pick the Curl Defining Gel because um, without this product, I would not have been able to use the enhancing cream or uh, the mousse and alone, it worked excellent on its own. I was even able to use it uh, with other lines. I know that I used it with uh, Miss Jessie's Pillow Curls and I think it might have been um, with the, um, the kinky, curly uh, styling the cream uh, uh, styling product from hair rules and it worked well with those so it does play well with others so I would say this would be the front runner and um, I might I would probably purchase so yeah if you guys have any comments questions or responses please leave them in the box below if you haven't don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe until next time take care you guys and thank you for watching bye